great scientists, welcome back to the lab. Yesterday, we learned all about the science process skill of measurement, which means to make an observation using numbers and units. Today, we are going to use our skill of measurement to help us understand more about the new science process skill of classification. Classification is when you sort objects into groups based on their common characteristics. And what do you know, I just happen to have a collection of objects here that need to be sorted. Now I could look at these objects and sort them into groups just by looking at them, um, but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna use that science process skill of measurement to help me sort them into two different groups. So we have our mass pieces here, our one gram, our five gram, our 10 gram, and our 20 gram piece, and we have our balance scale. We are gonna use the 10 gram piece to sort our objects into two groups, objects that have a mass of less than 10 grams and objects that have a mass of more than 10 grams. Now, if you remember from yesterday, when an object has more mass than the object that's in the cup already, the cup will go down. And when an object has less mass, the cup will stay up in the air. So let's do these, let's sort these objects. First, we have a paper clip. Do you think a paper clip will have more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Okay, let's find out. Ooh, the cup is still high in the air, so the paper clip is less than 10 grams. I'm gonna take my paper clip out, and I'll put it on this side for less than 10 grams. Next, we have a sticky note pad. Do you think the sticky note pad will be more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Okay, let's see. Ooh, it went down. Well, it's still bobbing. Let's see, let's make sure. Yep, it looks like the sticky note pad is more than 10 grams. So we'll put it on the other side. That can be the more than 10 grams group. Next, we have an eraser. Do you think the eraser is more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's find out. Wow, it looks like the eraser is a lot less than, or a lot more than 10 grams. So we'll put it on the more side. What about this clothespin? Do you think it's more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's put it in and find out. Oh, the cup is still up in the air, so it must be less than 10 grams. How about this glue stick? Do you think the glue stick is more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's put it in. Wow, the glue stick weighs the cup down, so it must be more than 10 grams. So we'll add the glue stick to the more than 10 grams side. How about this pair of scissors? Do you think the scissors will be more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's find out. Oh, that went straight down. The scissors are more than 10 grams. 
the scissors to that group. How about this spoon? Do we think it's more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's put it in and find out. Wow, it didn't even move. So the scissors, I'm sorry, so the spoon must be less than 10 grams. So we'll put them over here. And now we have this marker, more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams. Let's put it in and find out. It moved just a little bit, but not enough. So it must be less than 10 grams. We'll put that in there, in this group. And now we have this highlighter, our last object. Is it more than 10 grams or less than 10 grams? Let's go ahead and find out. Put it in the cup. It, ooh, it's bobbing. Let's see, it looks like the 10 gram cup is just a little bit lower, so it's less than 10 grams. So we'll put it in the less than 10 grams group. So now we have sorted our objects into two different groups, objects that are less than 10 grams, objects that are more than 10 grams. We have classified these objects by their mass. You can classify objects by any characteristic you want. And it's a good way to sort information, especially when you're making observations in science. Thanks for joining me for this lab today. Be sure to tune in next time when we get into our first science unit talking about soil. Bye.